Hello and welcome back to TEW 2016, The Branding Solution. We're here on Monday Night Raw to continue the road to the Elimination Chamber. And we start with our pre-show, as we always do, where we try and put some more of our talent over and gain some momentum for them. And this time it's hashtag DIY, defeating Dave Finley Jr. and Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, it's simple enough, it does what it needs to do. And Lance Rush is the start. Dave Finney Jr. from NXT is not. And hashtag are getting better. We continue our pre-show with Roderick Strong defeating Cody Hall in a quick match. Uh, yeah, continuing to push uh, Roderick Strong. And he's improving. And the 66 performance is good. Next up we have Curtis Axel defeating Kevin Kiley. Kyle, and yes, we are going to keep pushing Curtis Axel in the right direction. Next up, Jack Swagger defeats No Way Jose, and they've got great chemistry, so that's another future rivalry. Um, we're going to just continue through these because they're not that important. Um, Jay Lethal defeats Elias Sampson. With the lethal combination. Um, I have put the New Day back together. Because I wanted to give Kofi a match. Um, they defeat Fawn and Miller. Again Fawn and Miller are a great tag team. I'm really tempted to call them both up. Just to be the jobber tag team. Because I use them every show. On every problem is I use them on both shows. So that's not much help. And the main event is Justin Gabriel defeating Rhino. Again, Rhino's another really useful one to have in NXT to help the mid-carders have a good, solid match on the pre-show. Well, we're going to head into the main show now, and we start with The Miz cutting a promo about how he is going to beat Bray Wyatt and go on to the Elimination Chamber. And Bray Wyatt, as he does, with his crypto messages laughs at The Miz, because The Miz has done nothing really on my save yet. And for the last few months, Bray Wyatt, money in the bank holder, hasn't had a proper title match yet. And Kofi Kingston says, he's still complaining that he's got to face everybody, as he would, as any champ would going into this, before Ambrose and Del Rio both come out and remind them all that they're both in the chamber as well. So, at the moment, these three are definitely in. These two are having a match to see who get qualifies. And there's also one more qualifier. I've also got Kurt Angle in there. It was going to be Sheamus as well. Uh, Kurt Angle, he didn't want to work for me anymore, did Sheamus. So, it, Kurt Angle got the spot. I nearly went with Baron Corbin, but I decided the Miz is going to get the run I was going to give to Sheamus. So, let's see where this can go. We start with one of the Tag Team Elimination Chamber Qualifier matches and Crime Time defeat American Alpha when Peck and Art Rush distract Jordan. Um, yes, I am going to give Hashtag DIY American Alpha a nice little tag team run against each other. Keep them out of the tag title run picture for a while. And I don't have an issue with this at all. I don't think it's bad. I need a few hill teams in the chamber. I can only have four teams. So we've got um, certified G's. Now crime time. And it's either going to be the Bustos or the Shining Stars or the Ascension and Sudden Impact to see who gets the last spot. And they're going to be on the next couple of weeks. That's not going to be another one tonight. And hashtag DOI continue their attack on American Alpha. Um, as you can see here, I've put nearly all of them together. I think that's fair to say. Um, I've put the New Day 3 in there. Xavier Woods got the win, which I think is good. Um, the Usos are face, yeah, we know. These are the next couple of weeks. Um, they're not going to get a qualifier match. Um, I'm not ready to put them in that. I want them to have one more 
rivalry outside and then maybe the tag title picture for them. I've decided I'm going to keep Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens away as much as possible for their main match. I think this is going to be best for the rivalry. I don't want them to keep fighting and attacking each other. So they're going to do an interview segment this time with um, Kevin Owens discussing his rivalry with Sami Zayn. Very much like what we had. And I think this works better for the rivalry because if they go too much against each other, it's just going to get boring. They're constantly getting 80-odd ratings between them. So I'm going to probably have an interview and the other one have a match for the next couple of weeks. And um, this does lead, I believe. No, nope, I put a squash match in. I put Baron Corbin to beat Bobby Fish. Um, yeah, I'm going to make Corbin strong. I just got to work on that a little bit. Um, and we have Sami Zayn defeat Neville in a champion versus champion match. Yeah, I put them together. Neville hasn't lost in ages on my save, so I had to give Zayn the win for this. It's a solid enough rating. Um, John Morrison gets a nice easy win over Bo Dallas. Yeah, Bo Dallas will complain. I don't care. This was to lead for this incident with bad news Barrett coming back and attacking John Morrison now back when they were on Smackdown together uh, a botch by Morrison actually led to bad news being injured for a couple of months and since the brand split and um, the rest of the chosen ones actually went to shockwave in my random draw but bad news got drafted to Raw so bad news is coming after Morrison and this blood feud could work a good matches. There are other people in this thing about the future IC champ. But yeah, good start to it. Um, Ty Dillinger and a certified G's defeat. No, Sabian defeat Ty Dillinger. Um, Kali and the Uprising. That's so it was. Um, again, continuing both storylines. We got the making the impact one. Improvements every there and whatnot. Um, again, this is another one. I'm trying not to have matches before they have a match. But Shawn Michaels hosted an interview segment with his pro former trainee, Daniel Bryan. But Samoa Joe comes in and attacks the pair of them. I went, I will have it being attacking the pair of them. And a great 87 rating. Samoa Joe continues to rise in popularity, I believe. Continuing the promos. Undertaker cuts promo on Triple H, warning him that he's going to end his reign of terror. And, yep, it works. Mighty rating. In another Elimination Chamber qualifier match, Dolph Ziggler defeats Ryback clean. Um, Dolph Ziggler is nearly untouchable at the moment on this save. The rivalry just had with Triple H. So this continues his strong run. He deserves to be in the title picture. Ryback, I don't have a plan for right now. And I have another match. I don't want to just constantly put these guys in the main event. So I'm constantly doing it. Yes, I'll get the good ratings. But the other guys won't improve. So this is all we're having for this one. Is Seth Rollins cut kind a of promo on Roman Reigns. I, I could say it's a risk. Well, what's the point in having them just attack each other backwards and forwards each week? Let's see what they can do, the others can do. My main event was Miz defeating Bray Wyatt. Once Harper and Rowan come in and attack Bray Wyatt, it's not the greatest rating, I'm not going to lie. I probably could have done the, the other way around. The Miz needs to cut back up. He's going to be in this match. He's going to be in a title match. So we have the Elimination Chamber set. I can't show you the card because I've booked all the matches already. But afterwards, um, Dean Ambrose floors The Miz. Yep, sending a warning that he's not going to win. But I've decided I'm going to have the Wyatt family feud with each other at the moment because um, basically... He let them go. 
um, Bray let them leave Smackdown to be their own man and then he turned face and they're still considered bad so that he's got, they're going to be after him because of that we've got a tag team because Bray's got Finn Balor as his demon so that's a good little rivalry to start with and could have major impacts in other rivalries um, the show I reckon will probably get about a 78 I think it'll be a weak show 79 it could have been worse let's be honest um, let's head back to the main screen and we're back to the main screen and we got the usual there um, fair enough Ooh, that's an interesting one I thought he was long gone but I don't want to look at negotiations just the main complaining I don't mind this is probably just pay rises again and just adding a couple more women to my card damn it that will do we'll sort that out yeah I did resign Mojo for 9 months not that stupid these have to get pay rises because of how I increase their popularities um, let's check the storylines because considering oh, let's just quickly do this otherwise I'll forget she will be on Smackdown only let's just have a look at some other Joe's popularity since he's been put on the main card now we all know how good he really is there's no questioning since he hasn't improved that much currently he's had rivalries with Roman Reigns she didn't win. We still went head to head with Roman Reigns. I would have liked that to be a bit higher, to be honest. But never mind. I'm hoping the Daniel Bryan one could help that. And storylines: 86 for Legend vs Legend. The Angle Del Rio. Yeah, didn't really have anything happen this week. I had a little tag team match, nothing fancy. The future I see. We got Morrison, Gabriel and Strong in there. I think that's a good little mix. Along Juan Axel. Yeah, I'm trying to give Axel a proper push. An 82, I think this is going to be good. As you can see, we did it the other way round last week. So I'm happy. Making an impact is the television title picture. This one has been done well we'll keep Shad uh, I'm out of it now 83 for that the reunion good start tag titles we've got all of the teams in there so we've just got to add Shad and JTG and Rob Shad but he can't beating it as a partner it's great oh well someone else will be taken out with that after the next one that one hasn't started that's a good rating that's a good rating um, Ryback can stay in it he'll probably do a couple of matches but not be in them Biggie's just there for support so that's that creative meeting have we got anyone else reaching the who is hot and who is not Corbin Bad news straight back in there. Um, who's not? Jendel's um, only just come back from injury, so I've got no problems with that. That looks like it's going to end this show. We're going to come back and do SmackDown next. So I look forward to seeing what you think of that show. Thank you for watching.